And welcome back guys to a part 17 on Assassin's Creed Black Flag. And a day apparently something has happened, like a riot kind of thing. Okay, and it is called We Demand a Parlay. Ooh. Well, I'll be hanged. George has grown tired of our shenanigans. Who's the grim fella? That's Captain Woods Rogers. Not a man I want seeing my face. We desire a parley with the men who call themselves governors of this island. Charles Vane. Ben Hornigold and Ed Thatch. Come forth, if you please. Hear about the King's pardon, I reckon. What the hell is Hornigold doing? <sighs> Lily-livered punk! What are you men up to? I am grateful for your geniality, Captain Hornigold. I assume that... Don't mistake my decorum for deference, Governor. I'm eager to hear what you have to say. But of uncertain mind otherwise. Very well put. And it's a fairer shake than I expected to see from any pirate. But I promise fair treatment to all who hear me out. Only wait a while longer, Governor Rogers. These rascals will show their true colors in time. Calm, Commodore Chamberlain. I have given Captain Hornigold my word that we will be equitable. Won't do you a look of good. Men like him are a blight on His Majesty's reputation and a peculiar cancer. Afflicting the new world. The king wants them eradicated, above all else. Is this the town square? As close to one as we've ever had. Incredible. It's no cleaner than a dog's kennel. Captain Hornigold, please call your men. Rackham, Vane, the governor's come calling. Bring Burgess and Cochrane as well. <laughs> oh, I'm quite a bit there. <laughs> no, let's try to focus. Focus, focus. Man out, lads, and take this shanty town as if it were your own. Has been particularly That's it. I have my method, Commodore, and oh, I I'm you trying to keep it weird. to the letter. Get back here, you deaf turd! Disperse, a lot of you. Make way for the king's nope. emissaries. I'll kill the king's bastards. emissaries. Go on. Our only aim here is to treat with the masters of this community. All others are encouraged to go about their usual business. Go on, move. Go, Commodore Chamberlain. Please see that all merchants, masons. And carpenters are rounded up and brought to me this afternoon. We must see about repairing this fortress. We should be confiscating weapons, Governor. Send these pirates a clear, strong message that the King's emissaries are not to be trifled with. I have no wish to stir up animosity here, Commodore. And though well armed, we are outnumbered by a decent margin. Slow persuasion is our best and most efficient weapon. Twaddle, Governor! We should sink every goddamn ship not flying the king's colors. To do otherwise projects a certain weakness in our bearing. Silence, Commodore. I am the goddamn governor here, serving at the king's pleasure, and I will make the bloody decision. Is that clear, sir? Aye, sir. Your wishes are clear as crystal.
These are the charts, Commodore. We're in position. Governor Rogers believes he can make men of these monkeys yet. I do not. Return to your post and await my orders. That's it. Oh. Hate from sight. Which I'm doing. Right. What's the objective here? Ah! Right. Nothing too complicated then. And the rain had to start, didn't it? How did he get out there? It's so... well... Probably seen a body, maybe. Hold! Stand still! Hold! Uh oh. Grenade! Go, go! What an idiot! <laughs> Grenade! Go, go, go! Is this as smart as the guess? Got some hung ledges. Right. Right, that's one guard down. Did that count still? Nah. Good oh. try. Oh. 
Wait, so... I, I think I found a way off. Okay. Right. I promise it. Let's take them out, I want to get all of them. We do hereby promise and declare that in case any of the said pirates shall on or before the 5th of September in the year of our Lord 1718 surrender him or themselves to any <laughs> one of the principal secretaries oh, they're going all out to get one. in Great Britain or Ireland or to any governor or deputy governor of any of our plantations beyond the sea Every such pirate and pirate so surrendering him or themselves as a fourth step shall have our gracious pardon of and for such his or their piracy or pirate is. By him or them committed before the 5th of January next ensuing. And we do hereby strictly charge and command all our admirals, captains and other officers at sea. Ooh. And all our Hopefully governors works out. and commanders of any forts, castles, or other places in our plantations. And all our officers, civil and military, to seize what? and take such of the pirates who shall refuse or neglect to surrender themselves accordingly. I'm not surrendering. Right, now I need to sabotage the alarm bell. See, I'm not. I am so gonna kill all these guys now. Final blow. Put you in a box. Yeah. No one gets out of here. Especially the British. <laughs> We have to win now. Right. Right. I have no idea where the, al the, sub the alarm bell is.
Aha, found it. Okay, this could this is going really well. Alright, right. It's going bloody good for a while. Now the plans are right there. And the guard is looking at me right there. Come on, I have to loot these plans. Aha! I pray you take <gasps> the prudent course, gentlemen, and accept the king's pardon as soon as your hearts allow. For until such time, all of you will be confined in the south. I am sorry for this. But in lieu of a public trial, this pardon is your best bet. The governor puts it far too brightly, maggots. Take this message home. Accept the king's protection and stretch your bloody necks. Peace. No. Commodore Chamberlain, we are messengers, not executioners. Not yet. Oh, I'm so going to oh, kill thank you, sir. God save you. I'm gonna kill them all. Can't find me, will Look you? Look on this as a stroke of fortune, lads. We should take the king's pardon and salvage what oh, dignity we please. own. I'll be hanged before I surrender to that bobbin. Check your head, Vane. We had here a rare opportunity, a chance to take something base and shape it into a government made and maintained by men of vision. But in two years, we pissed it away. No. I won't make that mistake again. It's truth he's telling, and you whelps can't handle it. A Jew, you forecastle headed fuddlers. See you at the gallows. You'll all be dead, men! Bastards! I need a drink. 